In a previous video, I showed you a good way to make a decorative inside fillet in the part workbench, even when the fillet tool wants to make an outside fillet. Now I'm going to show you another nice way to make an inside fillet in the part workbench, then a complete failure that should not have failed, and finally a very nice way to do it in the part design workbench. First the part workbench. I'll start with the base of the decorative plaque from the previous video. Last time I reduced the height and added an offset piece using a sub-object shape binder, but sometimes that may not be practical. Maybe you decided to add an inside fillet after you've already done other work on the base, and changing its height now is inconvenient. Fortunately, the subobject shape binder is versatile. Select the top of the plaque and the subobject shape binder. Once again in the data pane, set the offset to negative 4 millimeters. But in addition to being able to create a face inside, the shape binder can create a face that fills the offset. So set offset fill to true. The visual rendering of that looks a bit off, but we can see that it's doing what we want. Now extrude negative 4 millimeters so it'll go downward into the plaque. Select the plaque, the new extrude, and Boolean cut. Now finish it up just like the last one. Next step is a complete failure. The idea was to sweep a circle around the upper perimeter of the plaque, cutting our fillet much as you might use a routing table with a cove bit. I'll go back to the extrusion, I'll create a new sketch and create a circle. Make it 4 millimeters in radius. Close the sketch. Now map the new sketch onto one of the edges of the plaque. Choose Normal to Edge, the suggested attachment mode. Create a sweep. Use the new sketch as the profile. Check Create Solid. Now specify the path. Select each edge in the upper perimeter of the plaque in sequence. Click Done. Click OK and... It looks like a total disaster. That's not too surprising since we haven't told it what we want to do about the corners. So select the sweep and in the data pane set transition to round corners. But that fails with an error. It just says command not done, which isn't much of a clue. This is the development version, but it's worth noting that I've tried this both in the latest stable version and in other weekly development versions. All I've managed to get is some variant of either this or some completely Lovecraftian geometry. It's just not going to work. It will do the sweep with transition set to transformed, but the result isn't useful for this purpose. Of course, if this approach was absolutely required, it is possible to make the part workbench do it, but it's a lot more work involving specifying individual cylinders and torices, referencing the initial sketch. Fuse all of that together and do a cut. But if you don't have to do it that way, I wouldn't suggest it. Interestingly, this approach seems to work just fine in the part design workbench. I'll show you that now. Just paste in the sketch of the base plaque, create a body, right click the sketch and move object to other body. Select the only body offered. It's worth noting that by pasting the sketch in, at least in the development versions, there's a bit of a gotcha. The part design workbench does not like unmapped sketches, and pasting skip the mapping step. So select the attachment in the data pane, and set it to the XY plane. Also select the mode, and set it to plane face. Otherwise, when creating the subtractive pipe, the geometry tends to blow up as bad or worse than the part workbench did. I'm not sure why. 
It's worth noting that the more usual workflow would be starting in the part design workbench, adding the body, and creating the base sketch from scratch. That would have resulted in being properly attached in the first place. As is often the case, the path less traveled tends to be a little rougher. Now pad the sketch to 10 millimeters, the default. Create the profile circle sketch just like in the part workbench. Map the sketch to an edge in the plaque just as before. It's already attached to the XY plane, so click on the plane and change the selection. We want it normal to edge. Now select the sketch in the subtractive pipe. Set the corner transition to round corner. It's important to do this before it encounters a transition or it may get stuck trying to create the geometry for the preview. Now start adding edges. Just add each of the edges of the top perimeter one at a time in sequence. Don't worry if there appears to be holes in the pipe. That's just a minor rendering error in the preview. Then click OK. Voila! Although I'm slowly learning the code in FreeCAD, I currently have no idea why the subtractive pipe works in the part design workbench, but creating the sweep in the part workbench, fundamentally the same operation, fails. I also don't know why the subtractive pipe fails in the part design workbench if the sketch for the plaque hasn't been appropriately attached to a cardinal plane. Perhaps I'll figure that out one day. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video or found it useful, please like, subscribe, and share. If there's anything you'd like to see covered here, please let me know in the comments below.